into April. This video is for your sun sign. And while you can use it for any part of your chart, this video right here is going to tell you why it is for your sun sign and then how you should also be using, you know, your rising sign, your moon sign to navigate different things like the love video right here that's going to be coming out pretty soon as well as the career video over here that you can be looking forward to. And so if you want to catch those, make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell and let's get started. This month, we're going to look at the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, what's going to be going super well for you this month, what's your biggest challenge going to be, what you should be avoiding this month, and then the best way to use this month to your advantage, as well as finding out what your crystal of the month is. The decks that I'm using today are the Cosmic Tribe Tarot and the Fuck It deck. If you want information on those, I do have affiliate links in the bottom because a bitch has to get paid. Okay, here we go. Taurus, what is the general theme for your month? And they're like, oh, you might be feeling like things aren't going the direction I wanted. You know, this is kind of hopeless. But here's the thing is you didn't put it out there what you were hoping for. So what do you expect? Because what we focus on expands, right? So anyway, beginning of the month for you, it's like, okay, so people are trying to give us things, trying to give us blessings, love, affection, attention, care, kindness, and we just like don't notice it or we don't want it because it's not quite right. It's not what we're asking for, but you're not asking for anything. So get it clear. What is it that you want so you can have it? I don't mean to yell at you, but like it's really that simple. Looking at the middle of the month, now all of a sudden people are equipped to help you and you actually want their help and you can take advantage of it. Um, but... You know, we have to have our mindset straight in order to use that to its fullest advantage. Now, coming to the end of the month, they're saying this is a time where we take a lot of action. So, um, what's going to be going super well for you? And they're like, your ability to go out and create whatever it is that you want in the world, in your life, but you need to know what it is that you want. So, let's get really focused on that. If you need help with that, there's actually in the, I'll put in the description box below a couple i have like some free downloadable worksheets that'll help you figure that out because that is the hardest part of law of attraction is really like knowing what we want right and so they're saying you have to take that action you have to take that step um where'd that card go okay here it is look all all of these things are like balanced out like the passion right and then the knowledge it's all going into this cauldron and like this fire energy is gonna create something wonderful um, with all the chakras, you know, and like this circle here that is saying, um, you know, cycles and like everything is infinite and going and, you know, it's wonderful and blah, blah, blah. There's all this like good juju here. There's like rainbows and sunshine and, you know, clear skies for the most part. Just those like happy clouds, no rain clouds. And you get to create whatever it is that you want. You get to fly high but it does require that action and really knowing what it is that you desire, okay? Anything is possible, but you have to know what you want in order to create it. So, um, what is going to be going super well for you aside from that? They're like, well, things for the most part are gonna be like exactly as you expect. No big hurdles or roadblocks or bumps, and so that makes it easy to plan and just really stay focused. What is the biggest challenge for you going to be? Um, feeling much. So, I mean, to a certain degree, like we don't want to feel on extremes. Extremely happy, extremely sad, right? But kind of feeling in exactly in the middle makes you feel like you're feeling nothing. And then if you feel like you're feeling nothing, sometimes that makes us feel panicked and like worse that we're not feeling anything. And that kind of freaks us out a little bit. Um, but they're saying like that's exactly where you're supposed to be. If you're not feeling super passionate, that's actually way better than feeling bummed. So what is it that you need to be avoiding this month? And they're saying like, look, you can create opportunities for you, for yourself, but you need to be avoiding like not thinking about what it is that you desire because a couple other signs have this too, like money is coming to you. It really is. And so let's focus on what we want here. Now, um, what do you need to avoid? Talking so much, whining, okay? 
They're like, shut the fuck up. Silence is required. Go deep within yourself and figure it out. What do you desire? Let's stop talking about what we don't want so we're not attracting that into our life. Let's figure it out what it is. We need to stop talking so much so we can go deep within and figure it out so that we can have it. Now, what is the best way to use this month to your advantage? And they're like, well, you don't really have a lot of choices. You just have to take action and um, get moving. Now, they keep saying that, Taurus. Take action. Take action. And they're like, it's something you don't necessarily want to do, but like once you get moving, you're strong, right? You're the bull. So maybe once you get running, then you're an unstoppable force. But it's like actually standing up and, and taking those first steps are hard. But, but get moving in the direction of whatever it is that you desire because it will pay off for you. Now, this crystal right here, um, you can click the link in the description box below to read all about your crystal of the month and um, how that'll help you out. But there are definitely some like magical crystals that you're going to want to use to help you to get um, moving and get you started in that direction. Um, because, I mean, just having it in your pocket makes things easier. Why not, right? <laughs> okay, love you. See you in May.